Hi YouTube, this is Joe Calton with Calton Cutlery and visit me on the web, CaltonCutlery.com. Okay, so today we have got an unenveloping and a uh, talking about a new series of videos with a t uh, test videos that we're going to do. And I think it's pretty dang exciting. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the unenveloping first. We have got a pair of open L uh, number sixes, I think. This is kind of cool. They come in like another little envelope. Envelope uh, made in the French Alps, uh, but this is printed in China. So it's a multi uh, multi country sort of deal. All right. Yep, that's what we have right there. Is a open L. Oh no, number sevens. Open L number sevens. Now, I've had, I bought one of these a while back, uh, an Open L number 8, I think, um, just to kind of play with it because I'd, I'd heard such good things about them for being uh, inexpensive knives, um, how well they performed, um, how simple they are. I really like how light the dang things are, you know, so if you're, if you're a backpacker or if you're wearing like very light clothing or something like that, you know, like in the summertime, you're just wearing, you know, shorts with an elastic waistband and, and you know, a t-shirt or a muscle shirt or something like that. You can toss something like that in your pocket and it's not going to, you know, weigh down half of your, you know, half your shorts or anything. So anyway, so, uh, and it's got the little locking mechanism and everything. And the cool thing about this one, or this un unenveloping I guess is the fact that we have got two two number sevens that I bought at the same time they came in the same package uh, they're the same model they came from the same company they're made out of the same steel they've got the same grinds you guys know where we're going with this yeah we're gonna do some comparison testing okay so a while back I mentioned uh, I did a video where this was my the uh, the knife I was carrying at the time I did a video where I put a 6,000 grit edge on my everyday carry okay and I'm pretty sure that I mean I don't get a whole lot of comments uh, you know on my videos because honestly I just don't uh, I mean I see them all I read them all um, you know and I, I hit that like button an awful lot but I just don't I just don't talk a whole lot in the comments <coughs> Um, but I read them an awful lot and I'm pretty sure that there was a whole bunch of folks out there going wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute Joe is putting a 6,000 grit edge on an everyday carry knife which is a working knife and Joe's always talking about you know his beloved 325 grit edge you know off of a DMT or a, or a Smith's diamond stone or the uh, um, the fine side of a silicon uh, Norton um, silicon carbide, uh, you know the crystalline stones. That's right. I wanted to see how the other half lived, and I went with a 6,000 grit edge off of a King Waterstone. Now, when I did that, I purposefully didn't do a whole lot of like you know cut and dried testing. You know, I didn't do a rope cutting test. I did not cut miles and miles of cardboard with it. Um, I didn't, um, you know, put that edge against another edge on purpose. I kind of wanted to see, I just wanted to carry the thing for a while and kind of see how I liked it. <coughs> now, it was with my 1095, that, this knife is right here. And, you know, so the steel type and the heat treat and all that kind of stuff is very familiar. But I wanted to see how that edge worked. And I carried that knife for, I don't know, six or eight months, something like that. And I used it quite a bit and I sharpened it quite a bit. You can tell that I probably sharpened, oh, a good eighth of an inch off of that blade. I mean, that blade was out to here at least, you know, when I made it. So it wasn't like I put a 6,000 grit edge on the thing and then set it on my desk and then just looked at it once a day. No, it was whatever work I was doing, that's the knife that I was using to do the work. And I was very surprised. Um, I thought I was going to hate that edge. Um, 
basically a 6,000 grit edge off of this this uh, King Waterstone, that's pretty much what I shave with, you know, a couple times a week. I mean, I, you know, make a straight razor, you know, sharpen it on the 1,000 grit side, finish it off on the 6,000 grit side, and then, of course, go, uh, you know, green chromium oxide, linen, and then leather, and then, you know, a little bit of palm stropping, and that's what I shave my face with. I never thought that a 6,000 grit edge would be very good for an everyday carry type of edge. And what I found was really surprising. That first couple of cuts, I can't remember what I was cutting, but my first couple of cuts, I remember thinking, well, that's different. You know, I've got a, a, I've got to push a little bit harder, you know, to get the cut going. But then it, it didn't, it didn't take but maybe a half a day or a day before my hand started, uh, you know, getting used to that new edge. Um, and, you know, I've enjoyed that edge quite a bit, you know, for the last six or eight months. Um, my current everyday carry is this, you know, this uh, Damascus one. And um, right now it's just wearing a 325 grit edge. And I'll probably play with that for another month or two. And then I might put the Damascus on the 6000 grit and, and, you know, see how I like it. So anyway, so the this this new series of video that's coming up with these this is going to be that testing that I should have done you know with that knife before I just started carrying it but I wanted to see if my my personal bias towards a toothy edge if that was going to come into play over 6 months of carrying with a you know a fairly fine and refined edge <clears throat> so that's what I ordered these two for same maker, same model, same steel, same geometry, you know, same lot. With a little bit of luck, they were, you know, out of the same, you know, I mean, this one got made and then this one got made 30 seconds later. So hopefully our heat treats are all going to be the same. Our geometries are going to be pretty close to the same. What we're going to do with these knives, and I'm going to bring you along with it, is one of them is going to get a 6,000 grit edge, and the other one is going to get a DMT 325 grit edge, okay? Um, to go even farther, the DMT edge is going to have micro bevels. Okay, that is my all-time favorite. Even though I've been carrying the 6K edge for the last eight months, this edge right here is my all-time favorite. I mean, if you told me I could only live with one edge for the rest of my life, that's it right there. Okay, mm -hmm. a close second to that. I mean, very close second would be the Norton Crystalline um, Silicon Carbide Coarse Fine. Um, well, that fine edge. The other blade is going to be sharpened with the King 1.6. We're going to take it to a 6, uh, 6K edge. We're going to do the... Uh, um, these don't really work so great with a micro bevel because they're so um, uh, soft. Okay, So when you try to do a micro bevel, what happens is, is that, um, it, it keeps running into loose particles. So, uh, on the 6K edge, what we're going to do is we're going to do the Murray Carter type method, okay, where you, you know, establish your bevel, or uh, establish your burr on one side, establish it on the other side. I guess it's kind of a modified Carter technique, because I don't think he does the burr. Uh, refine the burr on both sides with a 6K, 6K edge, lighten the burr up, strip it off with a piece of soft wood, and then come back and backstrop it a couple of times, you know, to, to repair the damage caused by the ripping of the burr off. One thing I, uh, you know, I think we're going to go ahead and do this, and I probably should have ordered three of these number sevens, you know, that way they would all be the same. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this number eight, and, um, you know, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of difference here. Uh, you know, I'll have to measure the geometry and everything, but we might go ahead and take this knife do the 6K edge on it, and then for the polished edge guys, we might go ahead and use the strop with the, the green chromium oxide and go ahead and put a, you know, a, a true mirror polish buffed stropped type edge on it. Um, and my experience, I don't really care for the, the stropped or the buffed edge uh, pretty much on anything except for shaving my face. But I was pleasantly surprised with the 6K edge, so, you know, maybe, um, 
maybe we'll just toss that in there. I mean, there's not really that much of a difference. Um, we might go ahead and do that. Okay, so what I need your help with here is to come up with ideas, all right? What do you want to see those three edges compared on? Okay, we got the 325 with a micro bevel, so a very toothy, aggressive edge. The 6,000 grit edge with no buffing. And then a 6,000 grit edge buffed or stropped on the, the chromium oxide and linen and leather. <coughs> I've been saving uh, chip bags. Um, I think I've got a couple of uh, dog food bags over there because I got three labs. You guys normally see them running around. They go through a lot of dog food, so I'm opening up dog food bags an awful lot. We'll probably go ahead and do some manila rope cut testing. Maybe some poly. Uh, yeah, poly is that poly? No. You know the 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 plasticky like like boat rope. You know the yellow stuff that's really really hard and uh, you know tough to cut. Uh, we'll probably do some of that. Probably have to throw in some cardboard cutting. Um, we'll probably go ahead. I mean, these are you know these would work every bit as good for a, a paring knife. So we'll probably take these into the kitchen. Um, you know, cut some tomatoes because everybody always you know tries to cut really thin slices of tomatoes that you can see through. Uh, maybe cut some carrots. You know, I mean, just. Uh, uh, might even cook a couple of meals. I mean, we can take this as far as you guys want to take it. Um, but the big deal is that <clears throat> you're going to have to kind of, we'll set it up to be as, as good as we can. Okay. But you still got this, you got a human that's making the, you know, that's doing the test. Okay. So you got a human being that's sharpening. So you're just going to have to trust that I'm going to do the best job that I can sharpening on, on all three edges. Um, you guys know I have a personal bias against highly polished edges. Um, it's starting to go away with that 6K uh, grit edge, but it is there. Okay, so I'm, I'm not going to lie and try to blow sunshine up your, you know, you know what. But I do have a bias against, you know, aggressive edges. We'll see if it turns around in some of this cutting tests. Um, we might do, I don't know, you know, we'll just have to find a whole bunch of different stuff to cut. And... Uh, we'll just kind of make it up as we go along. So the uh, probably going to call it good for this video. The next video we'll do. Um, uh, I don't know. You guys want to see me sharpen these knives? I mean, you've seen me sharpen a whole bunch of knives before. I guess we could. I guess uh, the next video I'll sharpen the knives up, and then um, uh, and then like I said, let me know in the comments what kind of tests you want to put these two edges against each other. Um, I think it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be a really good time. And heck, we might stretch this out in the next, you know, uh, four or five or eight videos if you want to. So again, let me know in the comments what you want to, uh, uh, what kind of test medium you want on these two. Uh, well, three on these three. And I will work sometime. This is uh, getting close to the silly season. So I'm, uh, you know, trying to get orders knocked out and get some, uh, you know, um, you know, stock knives for the website for Christmas gifts and all that kind of stuff. But, but in between working, I'll, I'll go ahead and get these sharpened up and get some videos out. And um, I think it's going to be a really good time. So again, this is Joe Calton with Calton Cutlery. Visit me on the web, caltoncutlery.com. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Uh, like I said, tell me what you want to see uh, cut in, with these two edges. And we will see you next time.